Well, it is a real honour and privilege to have Commissioner Dubravka Schwitzer with us. She is Vice President in the European Commission, responsible for the dual themes of democracy and demography. She's dedicated much of her life to politics at the local, national and European levels. We're really thrilled to have you with us today. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you for inviting me. So if we start with the theme of citizen engagement, which is really crucial to your portfolio, the Commission engages with citizens on an ongoing basis, but it has now proposed holding this special two-year conference on the future of Europe. What is the added value, do you think, of holding this conference? First of all, let us uh, remind that in last, year's, uh, last year in European elections, there was a very high turnout, uh, the highest in the last 20 years, which was uh, above uh, 50 percent. Then we realized that citizens uh, want uh, to have their say, they want to tell us something, and they don't want to be engaged only once in four years, only once in five years. So they want to uh, have a dialogue with us, and this is the reason why we, uh, in a way, inaugurated Conference of the Future of Europe. So this is uh, from Commission side, but also Parliament, as you know, adopted a resolution on the conference, and at the moment we are in the procedure of, if I may say, waiting for the Council uh, to have their position. And the conference is very, very important, according to my opinion, because uh, we would like to uh, bridge this gap which evidently exists between us and citizens, us meaning politicians. And you started your career, as we mentioned, in local politics. How important do you think it's going to be to have input from local and regional actors in this conversation? Uh, sometimes I think if I hadn't been a uh, mayor and if I hadn't been uh, working on, uh, at local level, I wouldn't uh, understand uh, what's going on on higher levels. So I started at local level as mayor of Dubrovnik, then I was uh, in national parliament in Croatia, then in almost seven years a uh, member of European Parliament now in Commission. So I think all these levels of governance are very, very important and uh, since uh, being on local level we are the closest to the citizens and uh, without uh, local level, without engaging them in this conference, I think this conference wouldn't uh, be or couldn't be successful. So it's, it is very, very important to understand what are people's needs, what are citizens' concerns, what are their fears, and uh, the reason for organizing the conference or series of different uh, events and conferences is to listen to them, to see what is the problem, how we can abolish the problem which exists. And another really important group is young people. President von der Leyen has described the future of Europe as depending on our youth. How is the Commission going to try and get young people really enthusiastic about the conference? First of all, we have to put questions to ourselves, me, not you, you are young, but who is going to live in this future but young? So uh, I think that a big part of this conference uh, should be dedicated to young people and to different uh, agora or our different assembly. Uh, where young uh, people will be participating and where the topics of their interests uh, will be debated. So uh, young uh, people are very important for us and this is uh, what uh, President Ursula von der Leyen asked me in her mission letter to me to include young, uh, to talk about, uh, to improve young guarantee and of course children. Child guarantee is one of my, uh, part of my portfolio and uh, uh, since as I said, uh, being a politician at local level and later on and, and different levels, I was always engaging with uh, young people, with children, with students, and uh, I think uh, we have to understand their needs and to try to help them how to live in this uh, very, very challenging world nowadays. And moving on then to the second half of your mandate, which is um, demography and demographic change. This is undoubtedly one of the biggest challenges for your, especially countries such as your native Croatia. What kind of challenges will demographic change pose for European democracies and societies? Demography is very important and uh, um, regardless of this, that this is going to be second part of my mandate, I think that I have to start immediately because demography is really a problem all over the world. And, uh, 
of course in Europe and in some member states even more than in others. And uh, I think that uh, we have to start as soon as possible and we will have a report on demography impact uh, on 6th of April on the agenda of College of the Commission and uh, we will see what is the state of play all over Europe and this will be the basic document for us to start offering measures or so-called toolbox to our citizens uh, all over Europe. Uh, although we know that this is a member state's competence, we don't want to interfere, but at the same time we think that only working together with local, uh, national, uh, European uh, level we can, uh, we can solve the problem, which is huge, if I may say so. Figures uh, show us that the problem is really huge and we have to, to address the problem and to try to solve it. And finally then, in, in the case of Ireland, one of the biggest concerns is the impact of demographic decline on rural populations. Does the Commission have any proposals to improve connectivity and productivity in, in regional so, areas? The long-term strategy for rural areas is part of my portfolio, which, is, which will be done, I hope, also soon, but it is the second part of my mandate. Rural areas are um, facing uh, big, big challenges. People are leaving uh, due to different reasons, but people are leaving to urban areas or people are leaving uh, to some other countries. Uh, from the country I know best, people are leaving to Ireland because uh, they think life is better here, uh, living standard is better, some leave because of education, some because of gaining skills, some because they want to get married, but they are leaving and this is, uh, this is uh, or they leave or they are leaving at this moment that they live every day. So this is a problem and I know that the problem exists also here in Ireland. So uh, connectivity is very important. But when we say connectivity, it doesn't mean only highways and uh, trains and uh, roads. Uh, connectivity means digital connectivity because uh, broadband uh, internet is very important nowadays if you want to create uh, new jobs. And we uh, rely heavily on new digital agenda. And as you know, EU Green Deal is one of our priorities, so we think that we can reverse the trend because people uh, will start, uh, we think that we can reverse the trend to let people live in a better environment, in, uh, with a better uh, quality, so why don't uh, uh, live in rural areas in the country if you have a, a good uh, infrastructure like kindergarten, schools, uh, connectivity which you mentioned and all other services which are important for decent lives. We have a lot of ch challenges to tackle and we wish you all the best for the next five years. Thank you. Thank you. Looking forward. Thank you.